A Woo Commerce variable product gives your customers more options to choose from and lets you offer multiple variations of the same product on a single page. For example, you can offer various color and size options for a t-shirt where each variation will have its own title, price, and product image. WooCommerce variable product will have different attributes such as size and color. Each attribute can have multiple attribute values. You can create different variations with different combinations of attributes. In today's video, we will talk about how to add variations to a variable product. Leave us a comment if you have a query. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon, so you don't miss out on great content related to WordPress and WooCommerce. You need to start by creating and adding a product to our WooCommerce store. To do this, you need to go to Products and click Add Product. Now, enter the product name and description. Once the product details have been added, you need to scroll down and find the Product Data Meta Box. Click on the drop-down menu and select Variable Product. When you do so, you will notice that more options have been added to the product data meta box. The attributes and variation sections are specific to this product type. We will now start with the attribute section. There are global attributes that can be added to all products in the store, such as color, and there are custom attributes that are specific to a single product. In the attribute section, you can choose global attributes for your products or create custom product attributes. In this case, let us choose the global attribute, color. Select color from the drop-down menu and click add. Page expands, and now you can see more options below. The first checkbox allows you to make the product variation visible on the product page, and the second checkbox allows the attribute to be used for variations. Click select all if you want to apply all the predefined global attributes to this product, and click save attributes. Now let us move to the variations section. When you go to this screen, you will find two options, one is to add variations manually and the second and much easier option is to create variations from all attributes. Select this and click, Go. Now that we have multiple variations available, we need to add more information to each of these variations. To do so, hover the cursor over the variations and click the arrow icon to add more information such as SKU, price, shipping information and tax details. You can repeat this process for each variation if required. If you want to remove a variation, you can click on the Remove button. After you are done with this process, save changes. Now let us set the price for these variations. Click the Variations tab under the Product Data section. Now enter the regular price and sale price for each variation of the product. Click Save Changes. Now let us add a product image. On the right-hand bottom side of the screen, we will see the button, Set Product Image. Select the product image from the library or upload an image from your desktop. We are going to upload an image from our desktop. Once the image is uploaded, click, Set Product Image. The product image has been added. Once you publish the product, customers will be able to view this product and choose a color and go ahead with the purchase. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on our social media channels. Do let us know in the comments section if you want us to cover a specific topic, or if you have any ideas or suggestions.